BitLocker Drive Encryption lets you encrypt an entire hard disk in all disk volumes, and this includes the Windows Operating System Drive, all your user files, and all your system files. You can protect both 32-bit and 64-bit computers that are running Windows 8.1 Professional, Enterprise, and even Server 2012. If you have a compatible TPM chip, it's easy to set up. If you don't, you have to enable something in Group Policy, and I'll show you that in a minute. BitLocker can also ensure that data can only be accessed if the boot components haven't changed or been altered since the disk uh, and if the disk is still installed in the original computer. There are a lot of BitLocker requirements, but you'll be informed if something doesn't work out. So let's get started. We're going to open Control Panel. I've got large icons shown here so I can go ahead and get on over to BitLocker Drive Encryption. And the option to turn on BitLocker is here. Now watch what happens when I do it on this computer. It says I can't do it because I don't have a TPM chip. And it, it also tells me that I need to allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM in Group Policy. So I'm going to click Cancel. I'm going to go on over to Group Policy and I'm going to locate that can access group policy from a run dialog box by t by typing gpedit.msc and pressing enter then you navigate to computer configuration administrative templates windows components bitlocker drive encryption operating systems drives operating system drives and require additional authentication at startup. I'm going to double click this and click enabled. It tells you right here what that what that means. It allows you to configure whether BitLocker requires additional authentication, blah blah blah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Click OK. Let's minimize this. Let's try again. Now I can enable BitLocker even without a drive. I have two options now. I can use a USB flash drive, which is a little dangerous because you're not going to be able to access your drive without it. Or you can enter a password. I prefer the password, so I'm going to type that. And I'm going to click Next. And I've got to somehow save this recovery key. I'm just going to save it to my Microsoft account. I'm going to click Next. And then I can choose what I want to encrypt. I think encrypting the entire drive is safe. And you click Next. Now when you do that, your drive is going to be encrypted. That's going to take a long time. So I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how you enable BitLocker. The next time you log on to your computer, turn it off, turn it back on, you're going to have to type that password before you can even get to the logon screen. So the computer can't even be accessed. The disk can't even be accessed without that BitLocker key. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of all of this. Cancel out of this.